It's Tuesday, I'm Tammy, and today we're at Joe's Yarn Garden. Hello everyone, it's Tuesday. I'm Tammy Colboy with Royal Page, and today we're at Joe's Yarn Garden in Stony Plain, Alberta, and this is Joe. Hello. Thank you so welcome. much for having me out. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, wow, you walk through the door and you're hit with just like so many possibilities color hits your face, texture hits your face. I mean, you may be wondering, what is Joe's Yarn Garden? Why don't you answer that for us? It's a place where colors bloom all year round. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> uh, we, um, we've been in Stony Plain, originally owned by a previous owner and started almost 30 years ago uh, with mostly just yarn. Um, we do carry a lot of yarn for knitting and, and crocheting uh, but now we've also got a lot of spinning and weaving supplies, um, felting. So many. So uh, mostly the yarn and wool crafts, right. I would say. And it's a place that people can come. They can source out a project or mm -hmm. get that specialty yarn. They don't have to head into the big metropolis to do so, right? Right. And you're able to support local. So why don't we show you around? Okay, why did you decide to take on this adventure? You know, I started... Um, well, I, I was a stay-at-home mom to start with, um, and then when my kids started getting old enough to be on their own or leaving, um, I needed something to do, and my oldest daughter actually had asked if we could learn to knit, and so I said, oh, okay, sure. I mean, I was always doing some kind of a craft. Hadn't learned to knit, though. So I did that, and I absolutely loved it. So I ended up coming into the shop for classes and stuff, um, coming in for help to try new projects, and I was always exploring new things. And eventually Pam gave me a job um, part-time. So I worked here for about nine years and then when she wanted to sell the store and retire, um, I just talked my husband into doing this. I said, I need this. <laughs> oh, I love that. So you didn't, you didn't start from like a little age, no. like young and no. learning how to do this. You picked it up later on. Yes. That means yes. anybody can do this. Exactly. There's hope. Anybody can anybody do this. Can try. Let's check out some yarn. We have one ball project that will make a granny square bag. We have amigurumi in every color imaginable. That means toys in Japanese. And lots of baby yarn for blankets and sweaters. We have blanket kits, wish drops, air drops, alpaca for socks. Oh, there's more. We have hand dyed yarn in store and that they brought in. We have mohair and mohair blends. They have every tool imaginable for crocheting and needling and knitting. And lots of yarn for crochet projects and knitting projects, charity projects, anything you can imagine. I get so excited by color. You can totally tell that I'm an 80s child when this is how I experienced my 90s and you have every color imaginable and if somebody's looking for something that you don't have in store they can bring it in probably if it's available and i think what's what's very nostalgic about this is that my grandma shout out grandma ruby she's 96 in southern saskatchewan she taught me how to crochet um in some times that we were with her by starting off with granny squares right and so it's something that's really cute because this is normally a solo project mm -hmm. that you can actually spend time with other people doing it and working on a project. Right. So you said once a week, there's some ladies, they come in, they bring their project, mm -hmm. they're able to work on their own, but at the same time then socialize mm -hmm. and pick up tips, right. tricks, right? Yes, exactly. <sighs> I don't know what I could do with these, but it would be fun. Yes, we're taking ourselves back to fairy tale days. It is a spinning wheel, right? Yes, it is. And it's kind of neat when somebody's looking to start a project, but they don't really know how, they don't really know if they want to invest in a tool like this. Yes. What can they do? Uh, we do classes. Um, and for the classes, we rent the Kiwi, which is a New Zealand wheel. Um, it's portable. It's a really good price if you want to purchase it after. But we rent them so that you get a really good go at it and just see if you really like it and if you want to put the money into getting a wheel yourself. And that's not the only thing you can rent. Let's show you. All right, Joe, what do we have? So these are weaving looms. They're all built in uh, New Zealand. They're very good quality. 
and we do classes in weaving as well. And when you take the class, uh, you have the option to rent this little 10 inch loom. Um, we do two sessions and you make a scarf each session. One of them is a houndstooth. And of course, that's the second one. The first one, you just learn how to get a good balanced weave. And if somebody wants to, let's say, rent it and take it home and work on a project, they can yes. do that as well. Mm -hmm. She's thought of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Look how adorable this is. Okay, what is it? So this is a little sweater made with uh, yarn from uh, New Brunswick. Um, some people call it cowichan sweater, sometimes it's called siwash sweater, but it's made with an unspun yarn that's five strands of wool just kind of held together and you just twist it a little as you're knitting. Makes for a really nice smooth flat finish, but very warm. It's so funny how mm -hmm. things come back in style because yeah. these are very, very in. Yeah, they are. Okay, look at this. This is just so beautiful. If you can catch all the different colors in there. This is roving. Oh, it is just so soft. Okay, Joe is going to talk to you about some things over there and I'm just going to really enjoy this. <laughs> Go ahead. We have uh, the Saltwater Mittens books all in. They were, um, they're from Newfoundland. We have the yarn from New Brunswick as well that's used in the books and lots of people knitting saltwater mittens. And we've got felt. Lots of felting supplies and some kits. Make your pumpkins for fall if you want. Okay and tell me what I'm cuddling up to. And those are sheepskins. You've got the infant size, so they're for, you know, let your baby sleep on them or... Your baby blanket. Put them behind your chair if you want to be cozy when you're snuggling in the evening. Cute decor in your house. Yep. And then you've got slipper, like insoles and, you know, for bottoms of cushions, etc. And you guys carry a lot of slippers. Like, what an adorable gift. So comfy. Yes, people can come right in. Mm -hmm. But how else can they find you? They can find us online as well. We opened our online store in 2020. Wonder why? <laughs> <laughs> After being closed for seven weeks. Um, <clears throat> so we ship, um, we have flat rate shipping to Canada, $20, $15 if you're in Alberta. And at the price of gas these days, that's not too bad. No, not at all. Um, <clears throat> so we, we ship all the way to uh, Nova Scotia and BC and Yukon. <laughs> uh, that is wonderful. So yeah. We can get it to you no matter where you are. All right, you definitely need to come out. If you've got someone who enjoys all things thread, yarn, etc., this is the place for them. You can join a summer project group. They're making a granny square bag this summer. Uh, there's, there, this is literally, you can't help but feel joy mm -hmm. surrounded by this much color sure. in here. For so sure. thank you so much for having me out. You're welcome. I really, really appreciate it. Um, where do people find you? We are at 4812 50th Avenue in Stony Plain. So if you're coming off the highway, just get the Rexall uh, drugstore and turn right and we're just up the road. Easy Very peasy. Easy. Thank you so much again for having me out here today. Come on, support local, come out, get your yarn on. And otherwise, I'm Tammy Colbert with Royal LePage and I will see you next week.